Why has nobody been to the moon in such a long time? <laughs> That's not uh, an eight-year-old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know, but I think I know. Because we didn't go there, and and that's the way it happened. And, and I remember very clearly, I think anybody who was alive at the time does, I remember my parents waking me up, and we went down and we watched you guys land on the moon. No, which you didn't. Was, no, you didn't. What? Because uh, uh, there wasn't any television. There wasn't anybody taking a picture. You watched animation. See, you associated what you saw with... I have very hazy memories. Yeah, I know. Uh, because... Uh, uh, there wasn't any television. There wasn't anybody taking a picture. You watched animation. See, you associated what you saw with... I have very hazy memories. Yeah, I know. Uh, what was the scariest moment of the journey? Scariest? It didn't happen. <laughs> it could have been scary. Circuit breaker. Hmm? Oh. I'm glad somebody helps me. Uh. <laughs> Today's announcement sends a clear signal to the world that we are restoring America's proud legacy of leadership in space. Our Vice President cares very deeply about space policy. And for good reason, space exploration is not only essential to our character as a nation, but also our economy and our great nation's security. The human soul yearns for discovery by unlocking the mysteries of the universe. We unlock truths within ourselves. That's true. Our journey into space will not only make us stronger and more prosperous, but will unite us behind grand ambitions and bring us all closer together. Wouldn't that be nice? Can you believe that space is going to do that? I thought politics would do that. Well, we'll have to rely on space instead. Five. Four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. We have a liftoff. Liftoff on Apollo 11. After you go through training, you do all of it, and you are flying up to the moon, coming down onto the lunar surface. Do you remember what you felt at that moment? I mean, we've heard from other people what they were doing, but I, I want to know how it felt to actually be there. I mean, I'm different than the other guy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you know that fighter pilots have ice in their veins? <laughs> uh, we don't feel. We execute. You like that? I do. Yeah. That's right. Uh, what do you think of my execution? I'm in favor of it. <laughs> <laughs> that, not that kind of execution. <laughs> uh, so uh, we learn to live with unexpected things. Like uh, I'm about to take off and the runway runs up against the drop off. And uh, about that time, beep, 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 flashing red light, the engine quit. Injection mm -hmm. handle. But you don't worry about that while you're cruising down the runway. There, you might run over a rabbit or something like that on the runway. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's take you out of the airplane and put you into the lunar module, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're standing next to Neil. We get in this way. That way? No, you're, not that's the engine. <laughs> you're, you're, you're giving decent calls, right? Mm -hmm. You're looking out the window, you're conning him down. Any fear in that Apollo 11 landing for you? I, I knew he could hear me. I remember in the simulation, uh, wh when you're in the government and you do something like travel, you usually file uh, an expense report when you come back from your trip. So I feel it was, felt it was appropriate from Houston to Florida to the moon, back to the Pacific Ocean <laughs> to Hawaii, trip. and uh, then back to Houston. Uh, but uh, it involves uh, exclusively government transportation, government meals, government quarters. So my uh, travel reimbursement was $33. Inside, the Temple Lodge room is a stunner. 
And downstairs, there's this. Uh, this is uh, the flag that Bose Aldrin took to the uh, moon with him. This flag, Supreme Council 33 Southern Jurisdiction, That's went, to, went the to the moon. Wow. So my uh, travel reimbursement was $33.